Pop up. Pop. Okay, <laughs> just testing because for some reason my video didn't record with sound. So today I'm going to show you how to um, get your logo, your transparent logo, um, placed in here. Go to Windows, select Libraries. Mine's already checked. And it's open here and you can select different colors by holding down Alt uh, or selecting your eyedropper tool. As you can see, I was um, doing off of my website. Um, and then you can also do transparent graphics or really any graphic. So I am going to open my logo. Well, whenever I decide to get it done because I don't remember what all I said. So I'm opening up my logo. I've already got it open to the folder. I'm selecting my transparent PNG. I'm not choosing the white or the black um, because I want it to be able to go over my images without having to repetitively open and place files on top like a composite. I'm going to push the plus and you can do it with the foreground color or a graphic. The foreground color is what I use to sample uh, colors from my website. So I knew exactly what the color code was. Um, but I'm going to be using it for the graphic. So again, we're going to push plus and then graphic. And you want to make sure that you are on the window of your logo. Must have been talking a lot. And then it is added in there. It's super easy peasy. So I'm going to close this out and then I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So in case it got closed out, you can go to Window and then make sure that Libraries is selected. As you can tell, mine's not checkmarked anymore. And then it's right there. Everything's still in there. Now occasionally, um, sometimes it won't sync up. So you just want to make sure that you are logged in. Um, but most of the time it loads itself after a few minutes. So you're just going to drag and drop wherever you want it onto the image and it will always be there. And you can use it anytime and you don't, like I said, have to keep repetitively, you know, opening, pasting, placing. You don't have to do any of that. It's just right there in your libraries panel and you can resize it to what you need it to be. You can place the multiple. Um, but yeah, super easy. So I hope you guys have a great week and check out my video channel for more info.